What if you have a surface mount IC and you need to solder a test wire onto one of the pins and you either aren't comfortable trying to solder this without bridging or it really is just too much because your solder is too thick or your iron tip is too big and it's just not working out. So you put some solder on the tip and you try to dab it onto a pad. And it's possible to do this, but let's say you just can't get it right for whatever reason. It's a bad day or you don't have enough practice. You end up with this big bridge across pins. But if you have some of this high temperature tolerant capped on tape or like I have the off brand eBay version of it, you can use it to mask off the pins directly on each side of the pin you're targeting and then get at it with a soldering iron and you won't bridge across the pins, the tape is not going to burn up and melt, and you'll have a much easier time making a connection. So I'm just going to pick a pin somewhere on the left that I haven't touched before, and I've cut off two pieces of this tape, and because it's very sticky, and I need to be able to have it stick to the chip, as well as I need to be able to get my hands or if I use tweezers to hold it, I need to be able to get these off without sticking and pulling. So I fold it over the edge to give me a non-stick surface. Now I can grab it with the tweezers and easily let go. So I will just choose a pin and put the tape on the right side. And I need the magnifier, it's really hard to see. And when I think I've got it, I can use the magnifier to push the tape down on the chip and get started. And it looks like I'm aligning to be able to solder a test wire to that fourth pin from the left. So I can use the tweezers to push the tape down onto the pins. So I've got the tape on masking the pins to the left and right of the pin I want to put a test wire on. Now I can just freely apply solder to this. And right away that pin is now tinned. And I've got my pre-tinned test wire, so now I apply it. And reflow. Wire is on. And there's a nicely attached test lead, not shorting any pins next to it. And it's stable. You can tug on that, no problem. And doing it without the tape, you may end up with a mess. So another good use for high temperature capped on tape or the cheaper eBay equivalent.